Okay guys, this is Avi Oziel back here again in the Precious Metal Recovery Series. I'm going to describe the different types of um, ways you could test to see if your silver is real. Now in my previous video I showed you basically the different types of silver bullion available for investment purposes. Um, I'm not going to get into them in detail, I'm just going to recap quickly. You have the 1 ounce silver rounds, you have the 10 ounce uh, stacker bars which are pretty much easily stackable not as loose as these coins. These are nicer because they um, pretty much have a lower premium and have a, a very much natural look to them. But how do you know if the silver you're buying is actually real? Well, there's many ways you can test to see if silver is real. Obviously, the most um, uh, accurate way is with an assay. If you take it to a refinery, they can charge you about 20 to 25 dollars and they'll do a metal assay and the assay will basically put a laser through the bar and give you an exact readout of the composition of the metal and all the different metals that that are contained in that piece that you let them assay however if you don't want to assay it and you'd rather try and find out what's inside it you have a couple of other options the other option is taking nitric acid and testing your bar. You could either put a drop of acid directly on top of the bar and see what color it turns and that will be an indicator if it's real or not. Another way is to scratch the bar into a certain stone that's found in gold testing kits and then you can take the nitric acid which is preferably either 18 karat and a blue reaction will indicate pure silver or you can take a silver testing solution which is a Sherwitzer salts and basically uh, see the different colors. If it's red or pure red, it's an indicator of pure fine silver. Now, if you don't want to mess your bar up by putting certain solutions on it or scratching some silver off of it into a stone or taking it to an assay uh, and having it um, properly uh, inspected by a refiner, there are other ways to, to check it out. One interesting way is by taking an ice cube. You can take an ice cube Wow, see, that is a rare earth magnet. But before I get into that, I'll finish what I was saying. You can take an ice cube and pretty much put it on a piece of silver and it will melt pretty much instantly. Silver is the best conductor in the world. It is the best conductor of electricity and heat in the periodic table of elements. So if you take an ice cube and you put it on a room temperature piece of silver, that ice cube will melt instantly. And it's pretty fascinating because of the conductivity of this metal. So if you just take it, hold it in your hand, get it a little warm, put it down, take an ice cube and put it on that silver, it will melt like an egg is being fried in a pan. So my next way of testing silver is pretty much the best way and is the most accurate and 100% foolproof way of indicating because if you do use the acid method sometimes inside in the middle there may be presence of other metals there are a lot of bars coming from China that have been um, found with different metals inside them especially the gold ones but they're usually with the higher denominations of silver like a hundred ounces you know the kilo bars it doesn't really make sense for them to forge smaller coins or, or 5 10 ounce bars however it is being found and just so you are sure that the silver you bought is 100% real the best way and the most accurate way is by using a special metal that's called a rare earth magnet now this is not a normal magnet this is an inodonium magnet and it's a little bit more expensive than a regular magnet so if you want to test your silver as I'm sure you all know, silver is not magnetic as steel and other different alloys. So problem is, is that there are other metals that aren't magnetic either, such as copper, uh, brass, aluminum, some tin. So these are other metals that aren't magnetic. And even if you put a magnet to that silver looking metal, how do you know if it's silver and if it's aluminum and if it's silver plated copper or silver plated something else? 
Well, the only real way to know is by using this rare earth magnet. The rare earth magnet has a special property when attached to silver that won't happen to any other metal. It kind of has a um, very, wow, you see how powerful that is? This is why this is used. Now, where can you get this? I got this from a hard drive. So I opened up a hard drive and this is what you'll find. This is what's inside a hard drive and you can save yourself the money if you have an old hard drive that's not working open it up and you're gonna find this magnet now I happen to pry one of those pieces off and then you're left with this and this is actually what it looks like so this was attached to this and this is what was inside the hard drive but this bottom piece is not the magnet the magnet is the piece that's attached to it right there and i cut off another piece this one was from a laptop hard drive a little bit smaller but look how powerful this magnet is so it's very very um dangerous too you don't want to get your fingers caught in between that because then you won't have any fingers left but back to the topic if you want to test if your silver is real what you do is take that magnet and put it on your bar and then hold it to a 45 degree angle and the cool thing about this is it has kind of a very slow way of sliding down so see that if your if your magnet slides down very slowly you know it's real watch this See, it kind of slides right down. That's pretty wicked. Now I'll show you at a. This is the way of telling if it's real or not. If it doesn't fly right off, if it slowly slides down. Now this is only applicable to a rare earth magnet. If you take a regular magnet, this will not happen. So it may not be magnetic, which may be an indicator that it is silver. But to be 100% sure that it's pure, fine, 99.9% .9 silver is by putting the rare earth magnet on the silver itself. And it has a certain unique property that's only unique to silver. So if you find a couple of non-magnetic alloys such as copper, brass, aluminum, and silver, and they all look similar, and you want to find out which is the real silver you take this magnet hold it at an angle 45 degrees and watch it slowly slide down and that's an indicator that it's fine silver the reason this happens is it has a kind of uh, reaction that when you put it on it it kind of forces it away it has a repelling kind of feature I can't really explain completely how it works let's try putting this on see what happens see how it just goes slowly down and even at this bigger one it doesn't make sense now to describe what I mean I'm gonna take this take that little earth magnet and see how fast that slides down now this shows you what will normally happen if you put it just falls off right that's what should happen but if you put it on the silver it slowly slides off so this is what happens when something is not silver it just slides right off of it and when you take that and you put it on top of this it just slowly goes down now this is too big and remember that bottom piece isn't the magnet so what you want to do is take the piece off first and then put it on now if I can pry this piece off here I'll show you the other way be careful here guys now this is doing this while holding a camera I want to keep my fingers too so there now I'm gonna take this put it like that and then tilt your bar to a 45 degree angle and watch it slide down very slowly see 
that's an indicator that it's pure fine 99 percent silver otherwise it would just fly right off if it slowly goes down see that and i'll try it with another bar just to show you try it with this guy right here i'll take that i'll put it on these guys are so strong okay I'll put this like this and watch slowly so that's real we'll even try it with this one right here take it like that and remember this only applies to a rare earth magnet see how slowly it goes down so if you're at a silver bullion shop bring one of these things with you ask them for a magnet and not a regular magnet it's got to be a rare earth magnet in odonium magnet if you don't want to buy one and spend 50 bucks for one at home hardware and they probably won't have one either um, you can find them at specialty shops but I don't recommend buying one you can just take an old busted hard drive that doesn't work inside that hard drive you're gonna find this this is a piece of metal that has that magnet attached to it which prevents your data loss because the magnets will affect the data but the rare earth magnet has a repelling feature that if that hard drive is placed next to another magnet this will prevent it from losing the data so this is a special kind of magnet now the same kind of feature has when you put it to silver so you're going to take that out of the hard drive if you can get it open and then you want to pry that piece off of this metal on the bottom and that's going to leave you holy with this piece right here and this is the actual rare earth magnet in its entirety and i even scratched off a little bit of that surface metal just to see what it looks like underneath now if you want to find a smaller one if you have a laptop hard drive you can get one from a laptop hard drive and that was this is a half of one from a laptop hard drive and this is good for testing the coins so if you have smaller silver this is a way of testing to see on the smaller pieces if it's real or if it's fake and I'll show you again one last time hold it at a 45 degree tilt let it slide down nice and slow this is a perfect indicator that your silver is pure fine and a hundred percent authentic otherwise you would have to spend money getting it assayed you can stain or ruin your silver with acid and there's only real there's only no no real way of testing your silver other than using this magnet now i did mention the ice cube method so you can do a, a mixture of a few things take an ice cube and put it to a piece of silver and watch how fast it'll melt within 30 seconds half your ice cube is gone because this is the best conductor of electricity known in the world of all the periodic table of elements of all the metals and alloys available to mankind this silver here is the best conductor of heat and electricity the reason it's not used in electronics is because it oxidizes so if they were to put silver in all the different computers eventually over time as the oxygen hits it it will tarnish change color and lose some of the conductivity so your electrical component will eventually stop working so if you have a very nice TV you know that's worth a thousand bucks and you have silver all in that TV eventually with your air conditioning and your heating and whatnot the pieces of silver in the TV will will start to change color especially with the computers that have these fans in them the fans will always be generating air so if the air is constantly hitting the silver contacts it will change color over a few years lose its electrical conductivity and sooner or later your computer TV or other device will stop working and then you're gonna get lawsuits and complaints by people saying well I spent a thousand bucks for my TV and my computer and why did it stop working you can't expect the company to tell them well the silver changed color and that's that so that's why they put gold which is the second best conductor of electricity in these computer components however this is just for testing your bullion to make sure it's real so 
Hope you enjoyed this and look how powerful this magnet is. I do recommend being careful, but I do find it very cool how powerful. This is the most powerful magnet there is. So if you want to test if something is magnetic, this is the best way. And it'll definitely tell you right away. Uh, if I can find something that's steel, I'll show you what I mean. So this is an old box that I opened up for the wire. And look, I didn't even have to touch it. It just went right to it. So that shows you. And you can pry it off. It shows you how powerful these magnets are. So to see if something is aluminum, copper, or stainless steel, you can just use that magnet right there. Be careful with your fingers, eh? I don't want to get any comments or complaints or emails that I've lost my fingers. So be careful with these magnets. I'm not responsible for what you do with them. And make sure you only use them to test your silver or to see if something is stainless steel or any other metal. All right, guys, this is Avi signing out. I wish you all a wonderful journey in your precious metal hunt. Hope you enjoyed this video as much as I did making it, and I'll see you all next time. Take care.